Hey, what's up, everybody? Ike Stevens, Redneck Cruiser, over here in gorgeous Galveston, Texas. Anyways, um, today I want to kind of talk about Dave Summers. In 2015, I went on my first cruise out of New Orleans. And I always wanted to go on a cruise, always. Always wanted to go. And just never did for some reason or another. Just just never did. But finally pulled the trigger. In 2014, we booked it, went on to 2015. I heard his dad, Truck and Bozo, Dale Summers, He was always going on cruises and stuff. And if you guys don't know, Truck and Bozo was a uh, radio show personality for truckers, and that's my occupation. And um, and I'd listen to him like every day. And he always talk about going on cruises. I was like, well, I want to go on one because I love the sea. I love the sea. I, I mean, I could have been a sailor, a little too big. I mean, I heard those sailors got to be short. But I was kind of, I could have been a good in the Navy, right? Anyway. Because, I, I mean, I just love the ocean. I love ships and stuff like that. The water. Everything comes with it. Love the scent in the air. Finally went on our first cruise on the Carnival Dream out of New Orleans. Now, we've been out of New Orleans all the time because at the time it was convenient for us for where we lived and I, you know, the Carnival Dream is an awesome ship. It's like, so we booked our first one and it was so fun. It was just me and my wife went. Um, of course, there was a lot of, gosh, there was like a couple hundred people on that cruise that was just truckers. And I was like, man, this is awesome. So Dave Summers and Truckers Gone Wild got me hooked on this. And ever since, I've gone on one cruise a year. Now, they haven't all been booked through Dave Summers. And that's nothing against Dave Summers. It's nothing against what he has going on. I'm always booking stuff that's like convenient for me. You know, whether it be Galveston or New Orleans. And so, Dave Summers, if you're watching this, I appreciate you for for everything you did. I, obviously, you didn't do anything. Did you? you just were, you know, travel agent, you know, doing that. But you don't realize that you have created a monster here. You have created a monster because I go every single year. Every single year, we haven't missed a year. I take that back. We didn't go in 2016. Missed that year. But ever since then, we've been on one every year. and We got one booked for next year, but um, we've already been on one this year. But uh, I'm so thankful for, for that experience and all the fun we had. The next cruise, we took our girls with us and all that kind of stuff on a Thanksgiving cruise. But Truckers Gone Wild, it was like a whole bunch of truckers that went on this ship. and It was just a fun time. It really was. and It wasn't so much hanging around truckers all the time. We really didn't go watch too much of Brad James do his glorified karaoke singing. Sorry, Brad James, I had to. Love you, man. But we went, you know, for me and my wife. And gosh, we just love it. My wife equally loves it. We're thinking about booking one for next year. And um, so Dave Summers, appreciate that. SS Cruises, if you guys want to check them out, um, they have multiple cruises, not just Truckers Gone Wild. They have multiple cruises every single year and um, they got payment plans and all that kind of stuff but more importantly man if you just need the ins and outs of cruising you know join his Facebook page and all that kind of stuff because they talk about it all the time man you know how much I follow that page I don't comment all the time but if there's any kind of like cruise news that's where I get it first and this is not like a plug or anything I don't talk to Dave that much, just for the fact that, you know, I got a different life. But um, but I don't have anything against him. I think he's a good dude, good solid dude, and all that kind of stuff. But 
He did create a monster, okay? He just did. Because here I am, walking down the beach in Galveston, Texas, talking about cruising. And I'm in Galveston, Texas, not even going on a cruise. <laughs> just out here to visit. Anyways, hey, you guys take care. 73.